So this is the new law that's going to turn you into a federal criminal. So if you're connected at all to the RC aircraft and drone world, you'll have no doubt heard of Remote ID. So what this is is a new law that's going to force a lot of pilots to fit GPS broadcast units to their model aircraft that reports the aircraft and pilot's position. So what I realized since making my last video is just how many people don't realize that this new law applies to them. And I think part of the confusion comes from people not realizing what the FAA actually means when they say a drone. They think, oh, I don't fly a multi-rotor, or I don't have a camera on my aircraft, so it's not a drone, or it doesn't have computer control, so it's not a drone. So these laws don't apply to me. But any aircraft that is remotely operated from the ground is a drone. So a fixed wing aircraft, drone. Toy helicopter, drone. RC airship, drone. It doesn't matter what you're flying. So anything that flies over 250 grams and is operated remotely from the ground is a drone and will require remote ID. So if your RC aircraft is over 250 grams, that will need remote ID. If your toy helicopter is over 250 grams and you want to play in your own backyard, that's going to need remote ID. These are just some examples of questions that I've had since I made my last video. Now, if your aircraft is sub 250 grams, you won't need remote ID under normal circumstances. However, if you're operating under part 107, which means anything commercial, you will need remote ID, no matter how light your aircraft is. So commercial can include racing where there is a cash prize and even uploading to YouTube. Anything where you could potentially make money. So if you're a YouTuber who reviews sub 250 gram aircraft, you are gonna need remote ID. So I'm gonna break this down on the screen to hopefully make it a little bit clearer. And we're gonna start with flying recreationally. If you fly any aircraft that is remotely operated from the ground that is over 250 grams, you need to register that aircraft with the FAA and install remote ID. If you are sub 250, you do not need to register and install remote ID. Now, if you're flying commercially, and this is where you intend to make money, whether you are above 250 grams or below, it doesn't matter. According to the FAA, you need to register that drone. You need a part 107 license and you will need remote ID. And the reason I'm making this video is not to agree with the FAA or state my opinion. I'm just trying to get the word out for who this applies to. Because I've had so many questions, does this apply to me? Does this apply to me? And in 99% of the case, the answer is yes. And I actually think this is why there's not been too much pushback on remote ID. I think most people didn't think it applied to them. They thought, I don't have computer control on my aircraft, so I don't fly a drone. I don't have a camera, so I'm not a drone. So this doesn't apply to me. Trust me, this applies to you. And the time for fighting it is already over. Remote ID is coming on the 16th of September, 2023. That's this year. So I hope this video has better explained who will be affected by remote ID and has made you more informed. If you have any more questions, I've just set up a new Discord for my subscribers. So you can head on over there and ask me questions. That's all from me. If you did like this video, you can give it a like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time.